Hey friends, how are you? My name is Christine and welcome to today's video. I hope that today in my house projects and getting things taken care of that it will be able to provide you with a little bit of motivation to pick something in your house that maybe needs to be cleaned or decluttered or organized or painted or upgraded or whatever, you might feel a little inspiration to go and take care of that today. I typically start every single day with cleaning my kitchen. It's actually one of my favorite things to do, my favorite thing to clean in the house. The kitchen is my favorite part of the entire house, except for maybe my bed. It's where I spend most of my time after our kitchen makeover, it is now quite pretty and I always enjoy the calm feeling I have when my kitchen is really, really clean. I am loving my new huge sink. Dave said getting the undermount sink and the massive sink was worth every penny. He said it was a total game changer. He had kind of questioned my original decision to do this, but no longer. If you want to get started organizing and cleaning your house today, but don't know where to start, I would recommend doing the main living areas, your entryway, your living room, your kitchen, your eat-in area, the place where you spend most of your time and the place that people see when they first walk in the door. Just get started on those few little things and you will feel so much better once you accomplish them. Here underneath the sink, you can see that I have taken the lid off of my soap. Uh, it was not practical for the lid to be on it because I go in there with like wet hands a lot several times a day to get a soap. So I just took the lid off. It is now staying off for the rest of its existence underneath my sink. have been looking for a pretty soap dish for my Dawn, but I want it to have a black lid and I haven't found one yet. I have some issues in this room and not all of it's my fault and I wanna tell you about it. My mom is building a house in my town and all of those, not the guitar, all of these are hers. I have all these boxes in my living room. I don't want them in my living room. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out to the garage to go sit next to her washer and dryer that just arrived here today as well. Some of this other stuff in here is from my office, which we are about to paint this closet today. So I had to get everything out of the room. I took almost everything out of the room. I covered up this dresser. We're moving this and this out and like the, everything else is tools just because we're gonna spray it with the paint sprayer and I didn't want any paint dust in the room getting on anything. And the bulk of it ended up out here. I'm gonna try and Move, move these boxes. I seem to have more and more people every day. So for those that are new and don't know, my mom is moving to my town. She is doing a custom build house. The process has been very slow. She started it well over a year ago. The whole pandemic slowed everything down drastically. And she is finally moving from Wyoming to here this last weekend from you watching this video. Okay, so I have all the boxes gone and now I can move these things over here. I have Mizen also sent me a skillet. So I'm really excited to open this up and try this out. I should probably just open it and put it in the kitchen instead of hanging onto the box. I don't know how much this pan is actually. My code will give you guys 20% off your first order. So that will make this pan, hang on, I don't know yet. It is very heavy on the bottom, which is perfect. So I'll probably just go give that a wash and put it in the kitchen. The 10 inch skillet is $65. So with my code, it'll be right at $50, which is actually really, really good because I have several all clad pans and they're like $150 each. It's like very similar to that. So anyway, I'm gonna put this in the kitchen and put this in recycling. Dave's getting ready to paint this. So I actually just have some damp rags and I'm just giving these like a quick wipe. I don't think they're dirty really, but I just wanna make sure there's no dust or crumbs or something like, like that, like chunky stuff that gets painted over. I don't want that. 
So he's gonna start downstairs, so there's definitely time for these to dry. This is the kind of project that like, you kind of hate it when you're doing it, because you have to like prep all this stuff and it's gonna be like paint spray, it's gonna be everywhere. But when it's done, you're so happy. Okay, Haley's room is now also prepped to paint this closet. So we're painting three closets today. Oh, hello. So we have drop cloths, all the furniture is covered and everything else is off the walls. Okay, everything is out of the office. One last before shot of the office closet here. We are prepped here for this closet. Here's a before, it's gonna go white. Okay, so we have all the shelves are going white, the walls are going white, ceiling is gonna be white, and over on this side as well. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm truly not looking forward to the paint sprayer and and like the work that it takes to do all of this stuff, but I'm really excited for the closets to be done and like check that off the list because when we painted the upstairs, of course when I say we, I mean me. When I painted the upstairs several years ago, six years ago, it was so much work to paint all of the trim and everything that I never did the closets, the inside of the closets. So like the pantry's not done, my closet's not done, co closet's not done, the linen closet's not done. So we are slowly checking off painting all of the closet. We were about to commence painting. Hopefully we'll be done in like an hour and I'm probably gonna change my clothes so I can wear paint. If you guys have been feeling stressed, feel like you can't sleep that well, maybe wanna try some CBD oil or associated products, you could pick some up at helloned.com who are awesome enough to partner with me on today's video. They have been a long time supporter of the channel and I appreciate it so much. I have been using their products for almost all of 2020. They have a full spectrum hemp oil collection. They have a period blend for that time of the month, ladies. They have body butter that I really, really enjoy using. I think their addition of Arnica has been amazing. It's really, really soothing and promotes healing. In the period blend, they have this energizing roll on that I adore. I put it on every single day and then they have this soothing balm. You can put on your lower stomach or lower back when you are feeling a little crampy. It is so nice and I love the smell of it. You can use the code FFM to save 15% off of your order. HelloNed.com slash FFM or use FFM at checkout to redeem that code. And thanks again to them for partnering with me today. I'm making like a really weird hodgepodge dinner, but also I have these meatballs. One of my Instant Pots, I have a couple. Um, I have one over here cooking rice. So I'm actually just gonna pour. Good amount in with some of this barbecue sauce that I picked up at the Boomer's Discount Store. I'm trying to decide if I need some water or if it's gonna be okay. I might add a little bit of water just so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Because the meatballs are fully cooked, I just need to heat them through. I'm just gonna set it on just to get them hot basically. And we can have like barbecue meatballs with the rice and maybe I'll open like a can of corn or something. Super, super easy. Dude, you put barbecue sauce on anything and it'll taste good. I do have, I got out out of the the freezer, um, some frozen chili I had made. It's not very much. So I'm just gonna heat this through. And whoever wants, like some people can have chili and some people can have meatballs with rice. And it'll be just like an easy, easy dinner. That's, that's all you need? Okay. While Dave is painting over there, you can probably hear in the background, I'm going to empty this out and put it in the dishwasher just to get get it ready um, to use. So I picked these up at Sam's Club. I looked for a similar one at Costco just so I could compare, but they didn't have any that were like this. They had some glass ones, but not the hard plastic, which is what I was looking for, because my kids are gonna break the glass ones, honestly. A big one, I love this size for salads. Like Dave really likes that size. So this is a nice size. Um, it's like a really big, dressing container or hummus container. I like that, that's cool. And this is like sandwich size, except like the fattest sandwich known to man. The only thing I don't like is that there's not any that are the same size. So that's a bummer, because I would like, I would like four that are this size. Oh, and in case you're wondering, painting clothes are just regular clothes flipped inside out. 
Ba bow White closet. It still stinks of paint in here and there's a couple of wet spots. So we're gonna let it dry overnight. And then I'll come in here with a roller and maybe touch up anything. This closet actually looks the best. Here is Haley's closet. I definitely need to touch up some spots in here. They had added all these shelving that we didn't take off. And you can kind of see like there's one spot right there. And there's, it's a little streaky up on top. I can fix that with a roller tomorrow. From the back, here is Haley's closet. I want to show you this one, but it's like, it's definitely streaky on the bottom. And this was everything that was in the closet. So <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun to go through. Welcome to the next project. This is my basement mechanical room slash storage room. I was kind of cleaning it up in order to prep for a water softener to be put in. We purchased a water softener and it was going to be put in this day, but you couldn't actually access the spot where it goes, which is in that far left corner by the two water heaters. Um, it does look like a hot mess, I have a lot of reasons for that. Number one, I tell my kids to put things down here and they just throw things in here. I am storing quite a few things for my mom, which I will not be able to move until her house is done. And then also with the room switcheroos, my mom coming to live with us, I did have to clean out like a lot of the bookshelves and things like that and it looks crazy. Now, I do have a lot of people suggest to me to like shift the storage containers, but the room slopes to the center. The floors are not level because there's a drain in the center. So I actually can't put the shelves any way other than against the wall. Otherwise they're not level and they're likely to tip over. Here is the white closet. It looks pretty dang good. So pretty happy about that. You can kind of see the contrast between that was the old color. Now it's white. Old color, white. But we are going to change the functionality of the closet. So I'm not gonna put everything back the way that it was. Here's the office closet all painted and I put the racks back in, but I haven't organized it or anything yet. Last update, oh, Dave switched out some of these light switches and you can really see the difference over here between like what they look like now and then the old one, which we have not done yet. It like, it just looks dirty even though it's cream. White, white is the way to go. I thought to finish this video, I would show you guys my wantable box that just showed up. I had some referral credits that I've been saving for like a really long time. I'm kind of in the market for some new workout tank tops. I have had my old ones for a very, very long time and I got a few about a year ago and they have shrunk. Now they're like crop tops on me <laughs> because I'm, I'm tall here and I don't really want them to be crop tops on me. I believe I have a referral down below. I think it gives you $25 off. You totally don't have to, but if you want to go check out Wannable, they have fashion clothes. This is the fitness one. So this is all workout gear. Um, and then whatever you don't want, they have a return um, envelope. So you don't pay for return shipping. So I think I ordered this cause I had, I had a promo code that was like an extra $25 off plus my referral credits. I have never kept everything in the box ever. I've only ever kept like one or two things in the two or three years I've been doing Wannable, I do find it to be fairly expensive for clothes. I think Stitch Fix is way cheaper, although they don't have as much workout gear. And this is all workout gears. I'm already obsessed with these. <laughs> these are from the brand Glider. It's a really, really nice brand. I do have some stuff from them already. It's basically a green camo with reflection and the camo is made up of stars. That, oh, this is from Glider also. Okay, well, I really like their stuff. My only issue is it looks a little short, but we'll see. Another, wait, that's a crop. Okay, well, I don't even have to try that on. I'm not wearing a crop. I'm a almost 40 year old mom of four kids. We will not be wearing a crop. Okay, a very wide crop sweater, which I can tell you right now, I don't particularly like. Okay, tank looks okay. Leggings look okay, I think. Okay, what do you guys think of the leggings? They're, I mean, they're all right. They feel a touch thin. Leggings for me, I prefer like a thicker material and they're kind of bunchy in the back of the knee, but that's pretty normal because for any pants that's gonna fit my thighs and calves, they think that my knee should be bigger. And so it's always too big on the knee. I don't know why, I have like a knee issue, but I actually think they're kind of cool looking. And I dig the tank, tank's good, good length I think. Yeah? Well, I think these joggers are crap. <laughs> they are, they fit really, really weird. Like, <laughs> are they too short? Like. I feel like they're pulling because they're too short, but they're elastic on the bottom. 
I, the fabric feels nice, but I hate the way they fit. I think I'm just gonna keep the camo leggings and the black practice tank. And the joggers, it was like they were made for someone about five inches shorter than I am. And I'm trying my best to only, only get things I like instead of being like, well, it's here, it'll be fine, right? I don't really wanna do that. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my productive, get stuff done around the house and it was motivating a little bit, hopefully for you to pick something in your house and just get it done and check it off your list. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.